actual abuser behavior they spent all the time finally crafting their be their like abusive behavior towards women now it's time to set it for a broader scale and now it's time to release the kraken on their own audience cringe and unfit that's what i like to call them fresh and fit well-known anti-woman podcast on youtube 1.48 million subscribers at the point in time of recording of this video they've been through a lot they've been through the ringer from trying to teach men about how to coerce women into getting uh, sleeping with them after they explicitly uh, revoke their consent to memeing on uh, honor killings of of young girls who have TikToks with, with drunk women they pick up from the street in Miami. But Fresh and Fit has been through it all, really. But one thing that they haven't been through, unfortunately, has been being removed from YouTube. And unfortunately, that hasn't happened. But something that I would consider the second best thing has, which is them getting, you guessed it, it's YouTube's new patent-pended FU button. They removed their monetization. And they did a little, and they did a little video about it, about how this actually could be the true death knell to the entire fresh and fit industry. Let's take a look. And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast, man. We got a very important announcement for you guys. Let's get into the show. Let's go. Welcome We're skipping to the it. Fresh and Fit Podcast, man. Um, as you guys know, we had a show scheduled earlier with um, Psych with Psych Hacks, but we had to uh, cancel because we got some really, uh, you know, sucky news. Um, Not sucky. Crazy news. Yeah, crazy news. Real talk. Yeah. Uh, right now, we're live streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Rumble. Um, and guys, I mean... These guys are on Twitch? Oh, they are. There ain't no way this lasting very oh, five long. Five ladies. Let's get it. Twitch. If you, why in the world would you move to Twitch? You would move to Twitch. Really? That blow. That kind of blows my mind. If I'm gonna be honest with you, because you know that you know it's fresh and fit. They barely get. They barely get away with what they do on on YouTube, which is like I think twice as lax as Twitch. Okay, whatever. I guess. <sighs> Is this the end, bro? Because uh, we got some bad news, man. Uh, I mean, when I heard, I was I was shocked because I mean, we love YouTube, man. Yeah, we love streaming. Yeah, and um, at this point, I feel like our whole lives are revolved around streaming and like yeah, adding value to to you know people online. It's just like <laughs> adding value to people. Our whole lives revolve around streaming. I don't know, man. Get a get a job. <laughs> I know I'm saying that as a streamer myself, but like, is is this the end, man? Learn to code. You could do that as well, but I, I hate to say it, but I don't know. Do literally anything else with your life. I guess bad things when bad things happen to bad people is good. I would I would say that as well, honestly. It won't be the same, bro. Yeah. What um, we heard. In 2020, guys, uh, as you guys know. Um, yeah. I was working for the government, right? I was a special agent of Homeland Security. He yeah, he was a Fed. Not many, like, not too many, not the most, I'm, I'm going to do a Trump thing. Not too many people know this, but yeah, he was a Fed. He was a Fed for a while. And honestly, I still think that he's possibly a Fed in some degree, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Mostly because, mostly because of how he acts, okay? I saw somebody say this before, and honestly, I'm still, I'm still believing it that the government is dropping podcast micro microphones in the black community like they did with crack <laughs> to try to disrupt the black community again they've been trying to hold us back and honestly after watching their program i can believe it i can believe it queen toe pro is alive and well reagan's ghost still haunts us to this very day <laughs> yeah. he worked for fuck it wicks oh um yeah i was working for the government right i was a special agent of homeland security he worked for fuck it wix we'll just call it yeah right um, wix.com yeah and he was working for wix.com the 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 free website domain company so we got a fed and a and a and like somebody who works a like and, and like a pencil pusher at a <laughs> at a startup okay uh you know he was a tech support i was arresting bad guys etc we started this podcast we did our first episode on october 26th 2020 it was a lot of fun yeah. yeah and um yeah chris was there the apartment was all empty and shit and uh you know and we had our first podcast the, the if you guys go back and watch it like the the thing was all zooming i'm sorry i really don't care 
morning. Chris yeah. was there too. Yeah, well, working from, jobs. Yeah. Well, working jobs. And I, uh, you know, <clears throat> I go. Is he going to uh, cry? You know, I let my supervisor know, hey, I got to go up to, you know, the internal affairs office, right? Because it's not at the same building as us. And, you know, I go over there and they, and they take my phone. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, what's going on here? And then, you know, and then they're like, they didn't want to tell me, but they're like, uh, you know, hey, you know, we're part of an internal investigation. Next day, I meet up with the, you know, the special agent in charge. And they tell me, hey, it has to do with your YouTube. And right there, I clicked. I was like, wait, wait hold on. Okay. They probably the think that I'm recording so videos on my phone. <laughs> like, that's what's, what it is, which it was a fucking, like, iPhone 6 or 7. It was a piece of shit. Okay. Uh, Six-figure job. Uh, okay. Forever. Yeah. And, and, and we you know, know Fresh always it. said this, you know, enjoy us while you can. Yeah. Uh, Wait here. Um, it sucks. And uh, yeah, and, and I haven't, I say, I tell you guys that story to tell you that I haven't felt like that since today. And um, it sucks. I, I haven't cried since 2021. Do you don't know, do you don't know how many women I've stomped, I've been able to stomp on? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, man. I just think it's kind of weird, like what he does in his job, the type of things that he says about people, making it like an entire job and then being like, I've never been happier in my life. I don't know, man. Closest thing to a demon that we have. If I'm going to be honest with you, I hate to say it. Guys, it really does suck. Um, you know, fortunately, we you know we made some moves, etc. you know, and we kind of saw knew that the type of content that we make for us to be able to give you this content we have to it comes at a cost it comes at a cost dude. and it won't be here forever yeah and, and, and we you know, know Fresh always it. said this you know enjoy us while you can yeah uh they thought we was capping man yeah they thought it was a joke and and you know we did we made moves on the side knowing that this could potentially happen and guys we, we the channel has been kicked off the youtube partner program <laughs> yo fuck you good i hope it hurts there it is there it is everyone. They have been completely kicked off of the YouTube partner program. They got the cringe Lord special where instead of YouTube completely just banning your account, which I still think they should have done. Um, if I'm going to be honest with you, instead, what they do is just kick you off the YouTube partner program. This means that they can't get any ad revenue. They can't do, they can't do like deals when it comes to their shop. They also can't and, and have like embed their uh, merch shop embedded. They also can't get any super chats and donations, which is what they usually get their shit from. They can't have any memberships either. Anything that that like anything that is YouTube giving you money is something that they cannot do and they cannot get any money for anymore, which I think is amazing. Honestly, uh, I, I really think that YouTube, I really love the idea of YouTube cracking down on this type of speech more because it's just for, for the type of, I really love the idea of YouTube cracking down on the type of content these people make more is because it just, it just needs to go. These people literally make content about just harming other people. Now, obviously they have some, some self-help type stuff in there for guys. Sure. And other business help in there for men specifically. Sure. And they, they even would say that what they do is like beneficial to women because they can fix women's behavior, I guess. Right. Yeah, women hating so hard. I know. Right. True. True. Honestly, one of the oldest memes in the game, if I'm going to be honest with you, it's not, it's not like they're doing anything necessarily super new, but I love the idea of YouTube finally doing something, anything about this, because a lot of these people literally just make livelihoods off of drumming up hate and controversy for other people. Map Walsh got the same treatment not too long ago. He got demonetized, which I think is just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, bro was working for the government and he said, I have a new business idea. I want to hate women more. <laughs> I want to hate women more. I need that. The celebration they are gone and this this isn't the first time that they've had problems with youtube because recently actually about earlier this month honestly they got hit with a week-long ban we didn't talk about it but they got hit with a week-long ban fresh and fit claimed that they've been victims of targeted attack of a targeted attack following the youtube hate speech ban so they were doing hate speech on their platform and they got banned for it and they said that they got mass reported and targeted by the gy gynocentric pussy whip simps going to take them down for trying to destroy their tier three sub monopoly on um, e-girl pussy or whatever, I guess, bullshit that they'll come up with this week. They claim their aim is to uh, help men navigate women, finances and fitness. 
That's their that's what their stated goal is. They said they got flagged for hate speech. We're not going we're not going too much in detail, but I'm going to say that it's two videos that are old as hell that were flagged. And by the and by the way they were flagged was indicative of a mass report that was very that was a very obvious attack. Really, you think it was a very obvious attack? Crazy how that works. If it was hate speech from a two two old ass videos that were right there. Sorry, two old ass videos, and that right there made me go, hmm. We looked a little bit further into it. We pretty much found it uh, uh, to be a targeted attack, guys. Okay, so basically what he's saying is that they, they did do something that was hate speech, but it was a while ago, so they shouldn't be punished for it. Wow, oh no. Who could have seen this coming? Despite an unexpected ban, the hosts say that their channel received around 15,000 subscribers during the seven day ban. And the ban lifts follows a major unban for Twitch streamer Exo Hydra X, whose channel was recently reinstated after getting banned for eight months uh, for a hot tub stream. Okay, interesting. Sure. So this isn't the first time they've been in hot water, but hopefully it's also not the last. They've moved to Rumble, where I believe most people are botting views, if not Rumble themselves are botting views, in my personal opinion. Where they get like a similar amount of views, but way less engagement. And it really makes me think that a lot of the people that are watching the that are watching their videos there are not real. <laughs> it's all bots, I swear. I want to do a deeper dive into that. We're gonna be doing a like a little thing into Rumble, not too in in, in in like a bit. But I don't know, man. Like some I get more engagement on some of my videos than they get on theirs that apparently have like three hundred thousand views. And it's starting to really make me think that it's not as they, they don't have the type of subscriber base that they would like 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 to imagine steven crowder as well got demonetized and did the same move and, and crowder is withering and crumbling as well and i mean i just think these are good things right i think demonetization is good at times i think i i think i think video i think think people getting removed from some public spaces are good sometimes especially if they're only causing strife and problems for other people i i think that's good i i hate to i hate to be the one to say it and it works. You getting banned from places works to remove your uh, to remove your reach. I, it, when was the last time you saw a recent Alex Jones clip? Like, be honest with me. You haven't. <laughs> what, 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 when, when was the last time you if you're not like a crazy Internet orbiter like the rest of us? Uh, when was the last time you saw like a Fuentes clip, like a new Fuentes clip? Honestly, probably haven't or if you have very rarely and with these guys getting demonetized and moving away how often are you going to see a lot of their shit you won't demonetization works when you see a right winger or like one of these reactionary or conservatives try to tell you that demonetization is bad and it doesn't even work they're lying they're lying to you because they don't want to be banned they tell you that they're only going to get stronger and better and more people are going to see them and you're only going to do like a like a barbra streisand effect if you do this type of stuff yeah case study is milo yiannopoulos a lot of people i say that name and there's, i think there's a good chunk of people who are watching this video right now who don't even know who the fuck that guy is he was a huge right-wing figure who was known for being a gay alt-right or Nazi, basically, who got removed from everything after he said that uh, pedophilia for young boys is good because they learn how to fuck early. Then he disappeared from everything, thankfully. Knowing is suffering. True, true. That's pretty true. That's that's pretty true. That's that's really true. That's true. And he also has now dedicated his entire life to uh, destroying the, the Republican Party, which is still very funny. He said it. Yeah, of course. That's that's the thing that got him removed from a lot of like right wing spaces. Like that. That's the thing that that stopped him. Battling Nikki Fuentes. Yeah, he did. He is battling Fuentes. He's trying to destroy Fuentes's life, which is incredibly funny. Two gay boys going at it. Hate to see it. And not even. And I was gonna say not in the fun way, but this this for me this is the most fun way. I'm gonna be honest with you. But you know, I'm built. I'm built a little different than some other people. You know, you know how dogs is and all that. Yeah, they they lie to you to try to tell you that it's that it's not okay, that you shouldn't do it when you actually should. And then being removed is good. Actually, it does reduce their reach. It does stop them from doing things because I don't think that it's good for people whose only existence online or the vast majority of their existence online is basically only to cause suffering and strife for other people, basically to hate other people, people who the people who spend their entire lives just simply trying to make other people's lives worse. I don't think that's quant content that is beneficial to the discourse of your average social media platform. And I just don't think that it should be it should be allowed because it simply just makes everything and everyone worse. We are we are worse off for it.
and people making money off of being just horrible people should not be something that we should just like be okay with and so yeah i think they should be gone we'll talk about some of the stuff that they said more here in a bit but before we do that let's listen to this a little bit more just keep it straight if with you look right now you can't even super chat or you can't even super chat right now fucking yep. base uh, so this, yeah, they don't have a join button anymore era. so we are in trolling chat so yeah, yeah. so you, you literally can't yeah man so it's uh so basically we're <laughs> we're gonna figure out what it, what's going on because we don't even really know all the details um we're working with youtube to try to come to a middle ground and you know work together and figure this out but for now we don't even know why we yeah we yeah. don't know the specific reason um Asagini. but but we don't i don't know here's my thing is that a lot of people who are known for being terrible people online try to say that they don't know what they were banned for but i don't know i've never gotten a youtube i've never gotten a strike a warning a video removal uh, the community guidelines a strike without knowing what was done i got the video it's and it's happened several times to the channel right all of them got removed because they were false but it, it happened several times to the channel and i have never once ever not known what happened now that i can't say i can't speak for everyone and say that everybody has the same experience but i can tell you this that i have never gotten i have I, i'm sorry I hate to say i've never ever gotten nothing in response to youtube taking like do, doing actions on my channel now it may not be like the best answer but i've got an answer i've gotten a video in a time i've got a video at least if not a timestamp as well so i don't know i made a video on these guys and it got removed and i and i got and i got a timestamp and the video in, in my email when it sent me that the when it told me that the video is getting removed right so now what <laughs> these guys these guys strike me i'm pretty sure so now what and like Fresh and fit are prolific. I mean, I mean, it, it could be several things, but fresh and fit are prolific abusers of the content ID system on YouTube. Like they strike people, or at least they used to strike people all the time for um, reacting to some of their videos and being mean to them. They literally did a whole thing about it. I think, um, what's their name? Abba and Preach, those guys. They strike like eight of Abba and Preach's videos covering them, which is very funny. If I'm going to be honest with you, but they got, but that got overturned and they literally got told by YouTube, if you do this shit again, we're going to ban you. And so they've been in hot water for YouTube for an incredibly long time. And only now are they getting hit for it? I don't know. I just think it's crazy that this stuff happens and then they'll come out and have the audacity to say that they're victims, bro. You can basically do whatever you want on YouTube and you face almost no repercussions for anything that you've done in the last goddamn fucking like year and years and years for like three years. They, they haven't gotten hit. In three years, they still have a channel. That's remarkable to me. I know people who cover police brutality, and they don't even comment who've gotten banned from YouTube. Well, these people literally make money off of shitting on, uh, of uh, like shitting on human beings and trying to destroy other people's lives, and trying to remove people's livelihood by uh, falsely copyright striking them on, on on a platform when it's literally someone's job and it's blatantly illegal. And they still have a platform even today after this. I mean, like, how can you sit here and tell me that these people are targeted when they get to do basically whatever they want with almost any, without almost any uh, repercussions? And, and, and without paying almost any, if not any, recompense for, for what they've done. How, how in the world can you tell me this? You're just privileged. I'm sorry. I hate to say it. In any form or fashion, Chris, hate YouTube or want to go at them. We're just saying, you know what? We wish we knew the reason why, but we respect, you know, for them letting like, use, use the platform and keeping us here for a while. And like, yeah, you know, we appreciate it. Yeah. But, and, um, and, and the thing is, is that you guys know, right on this uh, pod, we push the edge, right? We put, we push the envelope where there's no, we're not going to lie about that. Like we give you guys the real deal when it comes to getting in shape, when it comes to money, girls, money, dating, dating. improving yourself, etc. And unfortunately, okay. So wait, here, here, let, let, let's listen a little, a little further. Sorry. That Like we give you guys the real deal when it comes to getting in shape, when it comes to money, girls, money, dating, dating. improving yourself, etc. And unfortunately, to be able to give people real advice that they can take in real life and apply to the real world, you have to have uncomfortable conversations about uncomfortable topics in uncomfortable times. Guys. Okay, so let's listen to a little, let's just see a little bit about Hmm. What in the world that he means by uncomfortable topics and things along those lines? How about 
Hmm, let's let's see. Whatever whatever could he possibly mean? Because he's not going to say anything specifically. You know, what about what about coming out and being like single moms are only good for one night stands and you should never date a like a single parent. Well at least or at least a single mom as a guy, but maybe single dads deserve um relationships. I don't know. But single moms definitely do not. Three reasons why you should not seriously date any single mom. You should just <laughs> you should just fuck around with people's lives and children because um you're better than that but you should abuse them emotionally anyways i I can't find the clip if anybody can find the clip please let me see it i don't have it on me but the one where but but the one where fresh where myron here was in was in his house and he was talking about how to coerce a girl into having sex with you after she revoked her consent and he was like what you need to do is after she says no go okay and then go into the other room and pretend you're talking to like 12 other girls on your 12 separate phones and say and and talk about how much good and talk about how and then pretend that she's that that the girls on the phone are like i'm so glad that 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 bitch didn't want to suck your dick because your dick is so huge and so crazy and i come so hard on it and i can't wait to fuck you again and like doing it really loud so she can hear you from the other room so you can like build anxiety and jealousy in her and then coerce her into having sex more by by doing by doing other moves so if you, if you have it please let me know it's it's so big. Oh no. <laughs> the cock is so massive and you come so hard and you can't believe that that girl would say no. It's actual child shit. These people are actual children. Yes, yes, yes. Cock so good. Yes, yes, yes. Leave leave single parents alone. They already go through enough. Yeah, that that'd be like the normal person thing to say. I forgot these guys are rapey and insecure. Oh yeah, I mean obviously. Like you can't you can't be someone like them without being rapey and insecure. They got deleted from TikTok, so I can't go through their TikTok and again. One, the thing that got them deleted from TikTok was one of those things that got dele them deleted from TikTok was trying to coerce girls into having sex with you after they very clearly said that they did not want to have sex with you. <laughs> Which I have to say, pretty cringe. That's just me though. When one of the girls that they were with calling the H3, maybe I don't remember that. What I do know is that the girls on their platform, they kind of draw in with the with, with, with the promise of getting clout for their like Instagrams or whatever, telling them that they can that they can help make them famous or get them more clout or whatever. Tell them that they can give them free drinks and all they have to do is like sit and talk and uh, like sit and talk about some like relationship type stuff. Where, and then they just bring them in and then grill them and say horrible fucking things about them over and over again on the platform uh, until they either leave or get kicked out or the show ends for hours, right? Um, and so they just like bring in young girls, berate them while they're drunk, take advantage of them, and then, and then throw them away as, as everybody calls them like shitty and stupid and hold them up as reasons for why they shouldn't date or like uh, just just like abuse women more, more of a reason to abuse women. It's, it's actually some of the grossest shit ever. And I still can't believe that YouTube allows it on the platform, but okay, here we are. At least they get demonetized, right? That's nice at least, right? I mean, this is the type of shit that they put out, right? Why do women deserve less? Because simps in the government and society as a whole uh, pedatalize women uh, for having a vagina. Give them less so they respect you and give you more. Give everyone, uh, everyone else gives them more so you don't have to. Just, bro, what the fuck are you, what are you talking about, man? Just, <laughs> what are you saying, dude? Are these the guys that did the video on the $300 BJ sex toy? No, you may think all like misogyny tubers look the same, but no, that's the whatever podcast guy who like had girls on and did like an entire video of the auto blow through thousand, which had him have a breakup with his boyfriend, Chris, like Christian pastor guy who he brings on the program to like berate OnlyFans girls. Shit just comes out of their mouth. Wild, isn't it? Women are not oppressed, unironically, their stance. No, they think men are more oppressed than women because because these are the guys that genuinely believe that women get flown around the world, that, they're, that your average woman could like has the opportunity to get flown around the world by sugar daddies again and, and like go to different places and and have an entire career by like being pretty because your average woman can like get basically whatever she wants. That is genuinely. These people are genuinely insane. Didn't they say like 50% of college women get courted by sugar daddies around the world? Yes. <laughs> it's also true that he could even be a sugar, uh, he could be a sugar daddy himself.
His, we covered it a while ago. His dating profile got found, and his dating profile got found, and the type of stuff that was on there was kind of crazy. Myron, specifically, the tall one. He had a. He had a. He called himself one. Per, he called himself one percent man, and he's a, and he was on a sugar daddy dating site that hooks up sugar babies with sugar daddies. And he's 31 male Miami, Florida. Please read. I'm picky. I'm picky. And say he was trying to buy some girls as he's trying to tell guys how to get girls. Okay. About three or four yikes. A huge yike going on right now. Incredible. Wild, isn't it? Anyways, moving on. And also, and I mean, also like, remember when I said that they were dropping uh, microphones in the black community to disrupt, uh, to disrupt our people, my people. Like when they came out and specifically said that you shouldn't date black women. What about the black dating app called Black? <laughs> oh, I, I, it's funny. I never used that one, bro. But oh, hey, man. <laughs> I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. LaQuisha. I, yeah. Like, I mean. What the fuck? Somebody. Anybody got a, anybody got a cinder block on, on hand? Me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown nah, like that. Man. We ain't night Riders. Nah, so bro, I'm good. Uh, you know, sometimes if they're, you know, red bone, but like in general, me and Fresh uh, don't dabble in the dark, if you know what I'm saying. Yep. Uh, okay. So last one, guys. Uh, <laughs> Final round. Now, we're not going to mention names for certain reasons, yes, right? Yes. For a bunch of legal implications. But if you guys are, are you know, in our. Wild, wild ass shit. I mean, what's her gram? What's your Instagram? Dude, again? You, 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 you got like a love, love today. Have, That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Just, just keep it real. I don't really date black girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because, like, no, no, like, like most black girls are like Snickers. annoying. How to put this? A uh, ratchet, and they don't know how to like be Carry reserved. Themselves. You're like the complete opposite. You are so not the stereotype. You, you are not, not the stereotype. You are not the same. That's Aww. awesome. So, so, yeah. So I will give you that compliment. What's your, what's your Instagram? Um, you're one of the good ones. Hey, Darkie, you're one of the good ones. I was I was gonna be like, ugh, another black. Ugh, yikes. Oh, we really gotta deal with another one, guys. We couldn't find a new it's Miami. We couldn't find another white girl. I'll take Cuban. I I'll even take Cuban. I mean, come on, light skin, obviously, but uh, here we go. It's just I would be highly offended. Well, for one, they get these girls drunk before they're there. So she may not even be able to properly completely respond to every, all the shit that the that, that they're saying there. And we're not going to be playing their, their we're not going to be playing the response. It's not necessarily as as important right now as as just talking about the type of shit that they pull. But yeah, that's this is what they do. That that's the hard-hitting commentary that they got going on over there. Yeah, take a hey, take a compliment, Toots. <laughs> Pass the sock full of nickels, please. Yeah, get the sock full of nickels. It's time. It's time. It's time to end it. It's time to put them. Put them in their place. I take an Italian girl. Extra salami with cheese. Hey, big abagoo. Ready the humbler. <laughs> uh, ready the. It's time to get the humbler. Grab the folding chair. It's true. It's true. And some people may be like, why do they act like this? We'll do a little rundown super quick. We'll, we'll talk about this. Once you start to now, obviously, there are people like this who are brokey, who are broke as fuck. But for a lot of these types of guys, once you get a certain amount of money, clout or fame, you start identifying more with your um, social status, as in the amount of money that you have. Then you start identifying with any other group that, that you have in an intersectional way. Right. People typically people typically identify with the group an identity that they believe gives them the most amount of clout and being rich and being a man is way better than just like really necessarily being is, is, is they in their in their opinion would probably be more more beneficial to them to identify with than being uh than being black or you know just a normal human so obviously it would be way better for them to um flex being a man more by completely shitting on women and flex being uh, rich more by completely distancing themselves from any other uh, social group uh, that they may be a part of. Back to this. It's about to be an election year. You know what I mean? We're talking about certain points, and we've brought up certain points that might not be politically correct, right? That might not necessarily align oh, with no, everyone's viewpoints. Politically correct. Right? And we've worked really hard to bring people on that have different viewpoints, right? Some of them very controversial. Nazis. Human traffickers. <laughs> Human traffickers and Nazis is who they've been bringing on. <laughs> uh, the 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 people who are very very controversial and not PC. Ah, uh, yes, well known 
to be not PC and very controversial. Neo Nazis and human and human traffickers. But I, I wouldn't. It does. It just doesn't make sense. So it, it's not surprising to me that these people would be all in for uh, helping out and giving more clout for a guy who's actively under investigation for abusing women and putting him around more women that he could possibly abuse. Right. So you know, crazy. Some of them that may, may or may not be. Um politically correct and he's so old he's so far behind they don't say politically correct anymore you know the term is um uh they don't say pc anymore it's um it's uh it's critical race theory and wokeness you're you're you're, t- you're far behind the times the, the right has already rebranded themselves as caring about something different with a new word that's They're as attempting to care about something different with a new word yeah bro still stuck in 2012 hate to see it unfortunately the risk that you take when you make the kind of content that we do even other platforms, look at Rumble. They're taking a huge beating on the stock market. Yeah. I mean, they're up. Despite having one of the best years for um, revenue. revenue and for views and everything. And um, so this comes at a cost, no matter who you are company, yeah. individual, creator. Yep. And a lot of you guys want to be. What? Being evil? Good. <laughs> oh, you know, be, being like shitty and evil and horrible to human beings comes with a cost. People don't want to work with you. Yeah. Dumbass. Of course. <laughs> aspiring RB well. have seen it coming. And I respect that, but just know at a certain level, it will cost you a price you gotta pay. And uh I think me and Myron understand this and we were <laughs> saying, you know what? At some point we're gonna have to deal with deal with this price and today's a day. Yeah. 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 And and my thing is guys, um, more than ever, <laughs> real talk, more than ever. I know a lot of you guys send me messages and I trust me, I look at them. I really do look at them, and as a matter of fact. I save them too, because I sent some of them to Fresh today. Yeah. When you guys send me your DMs and say, yo, you saved my life. Yo, you sent me a picture of your credit score. Yo, my girl is making sandwiches now or whatever it is, right? Um, what? You saved my credit score. I'm, I'm in the gym now. My, my girlfriend's making me sandwiches. Okay. okay. Ah, uh, yes. You saved my life. <laughs> cool story, bro. Sure. I guess. You saved my relationship. My girlfriend makes me sandwiches. That really means a lot to us, right? We've helped a lot of you guys um, from killing yourselves, from injuring yourself, from making a really bad decision or doing something that that you can't um, necessarily take back. What a- Listen, I'm so sorry. Killing yourself is bad, but I'm just like, that's insane to me. I would be very scared of a person if they're like fresh and fit stop me from killing myself. For one, I'd probably <laughs> I gotta be careful what I say. <laughs> actually, you know what? Actually, I can't speak. I can't. I'll be honestly. I'll be. I'll be suspended for six months if I say what's on my mind. Never mind. What I'm asking you guys is, just like we've saved you guys, we need you guys to save us. Oh, that's so gross. Yo, ew. What? <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even think about that, bro. I stop you from killing. I, I stop you from killing yourself. Give me g- give me your paycheck. Give me your paycheck. I stop you from killing yourself. Give me your paycheck. That's wild to me. I save. I scratch your back. And now it's time for you to scratch mine. That's so manipulative. Yeah, right. The the self help guru telling. That's culty as fuck, dude. The self-help guru telling you that you said, I made you. You'd be dead without me. Give me your paycheck. Actual abuser behavior. They spent all the time finally crafting their be- their like abusive behavior towards women. Now it's time to set it for a broader scale. And now it's time to release the Kraken on their own audience. They've already, the gaslighting, the manipulation, the control, the isolation. They've done it all for their community. And now it's time to pull the trigger when the, when, when the time has come. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. It's time to pull the trigger and and finally, you know, you know, cash in on 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 on, on how they've treated their audience the whole time. It's the Dennis method. You be dead without me. Give me your paycheck. Give me your paycheck. I've had people I've I've had people from my community tell me that I help them get partners, you know, help 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 their life out, look look at their life in different ways. Um I've had people who've like 
thank me for getting into like the stock market or something or getting into therapy or something or be more comfortable with themselves something along those lines from from what from what i've watched but i wouldn't i would i i asked for some help earlier like last month or was it the month previously when it came to my shady's health bills and everything but like i would never be like hey i remember when you emailed me and told me that i stopped you from killing yourself now it's time to pay back the favor like that's wild there is no favor that's done you should just do things because you're a good person <laughs> there's no need to there should be no need to repay there's no need there's no scratch back needed you just you should just do good things because good things are good listen a high value man needs to get his money from somewhere he doesn't want to be a king of a of a, of a kingdom of ash so you help me find hentai and hot bitches on Twitter. Okay, give me your paycheck. You're not you're not even fucking subscribed. I I put you on some new hotness by liking pictures of some of the baddest bitches on Twitter. And by that I mean Gundam because we don't call women bitches here. I put you on some new hotness by liking pictures of some of the hottest women on Twitter and you won't even pay me back by subscribing. Really? Is that true? Joke's on you, I don't have a paycheck. Honestly, what time is it? 9.36 and you're still here? That makes sense. We need you guys to support us on Rumble because that's the last bastion of free speech at this point. Yeah. Rumble.com slash Fresh Fit, guys. Like, you need to go on there right now, follow the channel, subscribe. It's five bucks a month because if you guys want us to keep making this content, that that's what it's going to be. And I and we've worked really hard to like try to like keep it free, keep it free as clear, long as possible, man. On YouTube, like accessible. you guys know this, like yeah. we don't sit here and pitch courses to y'all every month. We're not always, you know, trying to take money from y'all. When you guys super chat, it's just, uh, um, it's you guys showing support to the show. It engages the show and we. Okay, buddy. Listen, you scratch. Listen, you didn't. Oh, you know what he's like? He's kind of like, I'll give you a little nerd reference. He's kind of like all for one in a, they're like, they're like, or, yeah, he's like kind of like all for one in my hero or like, he's kind of like a, they're kind of like super villains. You know what I mean? You know, you know, the classic super villain goon trope where, yeah, you know, the classic super villain goon trope where you, the, the super, the, you know, the protagonist asks them why they're working for such an evil man who does evil things. And then they respond, they're like, when I, when I was little, I was on the street and no one get put any coins in my cup. I, every day was hard and I was poor and your superhero troop saw me and did nothing. Yet when they saw me, they gave me home. They put, they put, uh, they, they put clothes on my back. They gave me a name. They cared. And that's why I give my life to them because without them, I would have no life. And now he, now he bros actually trying to cash in bros. Like I gave you life. Now it's time to, now it's time for you to, to give it away from now. It's time to take it away. You know, throw it away from me. <laughs> that shit's crazy, dude. So next time you see a hardcore fresh and fit goon, just imagine them, just imagine them like that. When you see a fresh and fit dick rider who loves DP from their favorite boys who tell them about why women need to be put in their place casually on, um, in, in your day to day life. Just remember that this person is no different from like a comic book goon who like was who was poor as a child and like the supervillain, uh, like the antagonist of the show found them, scooped them up and then gave them a name and groomed them into being evil. Remember that. Remember that, boys. Because why do you why do you work for a man who's so evil? Because he has a huge cock and he fucks me with it. <laughs> true. I hate to say it, but it's true. It's right. He's that, she's right. She's right. Like for real. a victim of grooming. It's true. Oh, if we've impacted your life and we've saved it, we need Give me you your guys to save us now. Give I got to call check. a name too from the very beginning. Blot Lemur. He saw the show, appreciated the show. And he donated a big amount for cameras. He, I think most cameras are here named after him because he donated a lot of money for support and appreciation. And we don't ask for much, guys. We just ask for your support. And right now, it needs to be on Rumble. Um, that's where we're going to be. And they have our back. At this point... We don't you know, know what, what, what could happen with YouTube. Yeah, we don't it's know. It's really out of our hands. And, yeah. uh, it is in your hands. Stop, stop doing what you're doing. Literally stop. Also, Fuentes is banned. And they bring a lot of people who are banned on YouTube onto their program a lot. 
And you can't do that. I'm not sure if you know this, but you can't do that anymore. You can't just like have people on your program who are banned talk 24 seven there. You, you can't fucking, you can't do that. <laughs> but they just allow, they just kept, they just keep doing it because they can't help themselves and they've been, and they're going to get dinged for it soon, which is even funnier. Yeah. I mean, we're going to work with them, right? We're going to be diplomatic and, you know, do what we got to do. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day for y'all to get the content, that no brokies want, from us, from us, the, the way that it needs to be said, we're going to have to put, do everything on rumble. We'll still be posting on YouTube, right? To a degree, right? Um, completely free as usual, but guys, it's expensive to run this. I mean, I really hate to even have this conversation with y'all, but we have a staff of like 20 people being trans for what? For fucking what? That's honestly, that's proof that they got no business uh, skill to begin with. What the fuck is 20 people for what? What? <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, honestly, get a real job, bitch. If, if you can't pay for this shit, get a real job. Make an OnlyFans. There you go. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> start work, start pop, start pop. Let me see them titties, boy. Let's see them titties, bitch. Come on. You want $5 a month? There you go. <laughs> Let's see that pussy. <laughs> Start popping it. <laughs> Learn to twerk. <laughs> Get a real job. Make it jiggle. You can't pay for shit. Make it jiggle. Go ahead. Hating on women is a team effort. It's a team sport. Listen. Get a real job. What can I say? Start putting in some real work. Hired twenty people for what? I barely. I barely. Need, I mean, I, like, like what? 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 What do you need? Twenty. You make a. You have a YouTube. You have a YouTube channel. You have a, what do you need 20 people for? You gotta pay the troll toll if you wanna get in that boy's hole. Yeah, $10 a month. Ooh, but hey, don't worry. This month, uh, if you subscribe within the next uh, 10 days, you'll get a 50% off for this month. So think about it. Think about it. I mean, like, I just I just don't know. I wanna know. Does he explain? Why does he have 20 people? I can, I can, I can imagine five, six, you know? Six people working for you two. Sure. Okay. I get it. All right. Maybe one guy who does the camera thing. Maybe another guy who does the back end. You know, maybe one guy who gets um who who does a lot of the booking. Maybe one guy who does the email shit. You know, but like 20? Can you does he explain? I want to know. Transparent. Being 100 percent transparent with y'all. Um we make it look easy, guys, but like what do they do? People that Are they fake jobs? Us that legit have a need and depend on us. Yeah. And if it wasn't for our this current platform right now, they won't eat. Neither do their kids. So it's kind of like especially Mo. <laughs> well, who the fuck is this? I'm so sorry, guys. I am so fucking sorry. That's Columbia, isn't it? I I thought I thought he was wearing the Chris Chan necklace. I am so fucking sorry. He wouldn't eat, especially Mo. Ha <laughs> ha! Fat fuck. Ha <laughs> Got him. Oh, that's just a little. That's that, that's that, that's just a little workplace joke. We love calling him fat. It's really funny, isn't it? You think, you think that's what they're gonna say that he's the twenty employees? Nice one. Then it could be eating it for a while. But <laughs> the point is that like, got him right now, Body, guys. Like, we're fatty Jenner here and telling you, look, listen, we need your help. And um, if ever before you appreciate their content, you gain value from getting your credit score up, yeah. getting, getting a girlfriend or wife, or even getting money from Money Mondays, guys. Like, we need to help today. Yeah, on Rumble, we really do. We really do because, and I hate to even say this, man, because yeah. it's like, we, we prided ourselves on like, yo, we're going to, we're just going to show up every week. We're going to give y'all six shows completely free. You don't have to, you don't have to send in a super chat if you don't want to just watch the content will be cool. But I don't know what it is. And we've made investments ourselves as well. Yeah. Real estate as well yeah. as other businesses. So we are on some level stable yeah but to keep this running to keep this, this running wait, wait 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 oh we have like money that we could like pull to you know do the thing that we love to do but like we won't so give me your paycheck <laughs> okay at this level yeah the but we want your, to even we don't need your money but we do want it we would want it yeah out here it's a lot and people that work for us so yeah yeah so to run so the reason why guys were able to um continue updating equipment right like i know y'all made jokes about the internet whatever we get stuff quick fixed quick like that because we made investments into the equipment guys i have backup microphones i have backup 
uh, mixers. I have backup equipment that um, is really expensive, right? But I had that there for the show. Like, y'all see me. I wear the same clothes. You guys make fun of me. Myron, you wear the same stuff. You got no drip, blah, blah, blah. I do it because I'm like, yo, the only thing that matters is the pod. Like, I don't care about me. It's not like a waste of money. Like, I hate to I hate to be the one to say it, but I get complimented on my microphone and how it sounds a reasonable amount. And, and like, I've listened to my own shit sometimes and sometimes it's ass. But hey, let me let, let me let me tell you something. OK, this is a Blue Yeti microphone that my mom bought me in uh, 2011. I think when I was like 12, when I got my first ever computer or like 2014, something like that. Works fine. I have a digital mixer. Works fine. Boom arm I bought for like a hundred dollars. Didn't even necessarily need it. Works fine. <laughs> That's actually kind of embarrassing that they've spent that much. You don't need to spend that much, but you actually genuinely don't, right? In this chair, you know this chair. I got this. You know how? You know where I got this chair? I didn't even buy this chair like new. I bought this chair from uh, uh from Facebook from a guy who lives down the road who was selling it. Uh, because I needed a new office chair, and instead of buying a new one, I I, I spent I spent sixty dollars on this like on this like two hundred dollar chair that, that that was used um like two years ago. <laughs> I actually I don't even have a proper computer desk. I'm not so to show you all, it's kind of funny. Yeah, I don't even have a proper computer desk right now. Let me show you what my desk looks like if I if I can. So my desk is actually you know those like potluck like potluck plastic foldable desks that's 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 what i stream from let me let me see if i can show you yeah so as you can as you can see here here it is this is my this, this is my this is my mat and yeah here's 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 the desk that yeah that's what it looks like <laughs> i i just have i i i have the potluck like church like after church potluck desk and that's and that's what i I'm, I'm, i promise you that's what it is. It's the plastic foldable one. And I've been streaming from it for years now. And it's it hasn't done it hasn't been a problem. But like apparently these guys need it for a YouTube channel and maybe a TikTok. Sorry, they don't do TikTok anymore because they got banned. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know, like what what do you need 20 people working for you for? What the fuck do you do? I'm just I'm genuinely kind of curious what the hell these people do. Um sock. You're not supposed to see that sock. What the hell these people do to need 20 people working for them? I'm I just want to I just want to know. 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 You know? I just want I just want to see. I'm killing the magic. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got the gamer keyboard. This keyboard also came with the my first computer that my mom bought me in 2014. I haven't changed it since. The my, the mouse is the the one my mom bought me in 2014 as well. <laughs> so So yeah. I mean, it's it's worked out so far. If it play fair, if it's fair play, shark. If it still works, use it. Like if I'm just I'm just saying that you don't need to be spending this crazy amount of money on on this shit, but you just do anyways. It's just weird to me personally. You know, whatever. I guess well seasoned equipment. It is. It is. I actually am still using the original monitor my mom bought me in 2014 with my computer. It's just no longer the 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 two monitors that have the two curved monitors that have changed it to. It's a vertical monitor that I use for um for planning uh, for planning some segments and uh, keeping some some stream specific stuff off of my 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 first two monitors. So, you know, I don't know what's what's going what's what's so expensive, bro. What is so expensive? I want to know. Looking good and being flashy and all that stuff. And Fresh was like, Nah, I don't care about it either. Like he gave up all his cars pretty much, yeah. watches all that stuff because we're like, bro, we need to be all in with the podcast we need to invest in the podcast and we invested more in recruiting getting chris on uh getting chris the resources he needs because we have like a whole operation where like getting girls on the show guys it's extremely difficult how many people have you seen try to do what we do we're bringing girls on and absolutely you do not know how how hard it is to find girls that we could get drunk and abuse on on the internet you don't get it so many girls know of what we do and what we say about women, and they don't want to be subjected to th the three hundred thousand people calling them uh, stupid whores who deserve to th who deserve nothing but <laughs> you deserve nothing. You don't get it. You, it's so hard. Our job is so difficult. I don't know. It'd be it's easy for I could do. I remember when I was asking for girls to come on my podcast. Sorry, when I was asking girls to come on my show, I got a lot of women in my audience. 
it's very easy. I could just say, hey, any women and femmes, if you want to come on the, the show to talk about some stuff, come on. I was actually flooded, inundated with with potential people who want to come onto the show. I, and you and they have like multiple times my minimum 10 times my audience. I'm just I'm just thinking, you know, what are they doing wrong that it's so difficult for to get women to come to speak to you? Do you give the girls the ick? Is that what the girls are calling it these days? The ick? Is that what you're doing? Do they get do they get the gut reaction that they shouldn't be in, in a closed room with these men? How many women have you seen? Not many. How are they recruiting women to be on the show? Are they like sitting outside of Miami Beach in like a un with a with a windowless van that says free mimosa? Fail and quit. We've been doing it consistently for three years. Guys, and that eats up so much money, so much time, so much resources. But we said, you know what? We're gonna continue to invest in it because it's true. They work harder than Elon's emerald slaves. <laughs> uh true. Hate to say it, but it's true. You guys want the content. We're not going to quit. We're going to keep giving you guys what you guys wanted from the beginning. And especially with our reputation, guys, it is not easy yeah. getting guests for the show or girls, just so you know. Yeah, yeah. It I looks know. easy because we do it every single uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but it's not easy for Chris, for us. So understand your support. That's why needed. Chris is so fat right now and alcoholic. I mean, if I'm going to keep it all the <laughs> nice way with y'all, like if I'm going to be it's all stressful. the way, like a big reason why we don't like shit on Chris so much, even though we should. Right. For his drinking and shit. Like, bro, he has a stressful ass job. Yeah. Like, he really has a stressful ass job. All these other... He has to send emails. Holy crap, what's up with these rich people being like, my, my life is so stressful. I have to send emails. He hates his co-host. Oh, the, the, real, the reason why I don't commit worker, like, worker violations more is mostly because I, I can understand why he's alcoholic. Man, I don't even need to... It's, I don't even need to riff on this a lot. I could just kind of let it play. I think your average human being will see how gross these fucking creatures are, bro. Wild. Channels are trying to do what Chris is doing, yeah. and they can't do it. Thanks. And the only reason we're able to do it is because we invest in it. We believe in Chris. Chris has a whole team underneath him. Shit. I mean, we did a show on Wednesday to show appreciation for Chris. Yeah. Because all the work he puts in. Yeah. So, guys... I'm not saying this to be like, oh my God, I feel sorry for us, but it's like for us to run the show at Give this level, paycheck. right? Where we are competing with some of the top podcasts in the world that are heavily funded, have sponsors, et cetera. We don't have sponsors like that, guys, because look at the content that we make. We're bringing on really controversial guests, talking about really controversial topics. Guys, we had a debate on a certain topic that I won't even go into that other people would never touch. Yeah. Who else is doing that? Giving you guys consistent value, et cetera. Uh, and, and when I stand on, Wait, let me see. What is the thing that they won't touch? Was it anti-Semitism? They've taken a big push into anti-Semitism recently. Let's see. I don't know. He released one three days ago about about where he brings on a site and a an acclaimed psychologist about the dark side of female psychology. They were debating 9-11, 9-11 trutherism recently. Interesting. Damn, Andrew Tate's always on their fucking show, man. They actually can't help themselves. Avengers Assemble. Holy crap, he's got he's got he's got the whole misogyny squad out. Andrew Tate, Rolo, the guy who said that women couldn't possibly make uh, pictures of pretty women couldn't make sculptures of pretty women because women don't understand women like men do. Jay Waller and Sterling. That's crazy to me. 9/11. How many are they are they full 9/11 trutherism type shit going on? Oh, and then Fuentes. Oh, yeah, it was the, it was the Jewish question. Yeah, didn't they didn't they have somebody on and they were like, it's JQ time? Wait one second, let me let me check this for you. Yeah, Fuentes, Fuentes, Destiny, Sneeko, Zerka debate. Fuentes v Destiny, female fulfillment, religion. Just so you know, this man's never had a girlfriend before. During one of the streams, Gaines bragged, "We we're the biggest platform talking about the Jewish question. No one else will do it. We are the chosen one." You know, I had to do it. The JQ refers to a Jewish question of anti-Semitic framework is basically saying, you know, what should we do with the Jews? <laughs> basically, another live stream gains again bragged about discussing the JQ on the show. It's JQ time. J <laughs> Gaines said everybody else is too much of a bitch to have this conversation. You'll you can't have this conversation on no major podcast. 
quiet about it. We're talking about it. We're, we're out here. It's JQ time, right? Yeah. Everybody yeah. else is too much of a bitch to have this conversation. You can't have this conversation on no major podcast. That's, that's, let's keep it a thousand, right? I mean, hell, when you went on Tim Pool, what happened? Well, yeah, that, that was over very quickly. Like, we're one of the, we're probably the only big podcast that's talking about shit like this. Yeah. Okay. So, um, if you ever wonder why he was kicked off, well, there you go. Yeah. Who else is doing that? Giving you guys consistent value, etc. Uh, and, and when I stand on this, when I truly say we have saved more lives and saved more men's and impacted more men's lives than any other podcast on any platform. And it I shows. I can concretely say that thanks to you guys. And it shows wherever we go. You do not understand how many life. women were beat due to our podcast. I'm not happy because we're changing so the world. This is like wherever we go, Dubai, Canada, um, you know, UK, even here in Miami. Romania. Romania. Wherever we go, man. People. I, was, I was in Jamaica, bro. For an event, people came up to me. Yeah, that's that's real. Yeah. So, um, yeah, man. So, like again, uh, this is kind of what it is. Like I said before, we 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 pride ourselves on like not charging out, and we're still not going to tell you guys like, oh yeah, you have to blah blah blah. But if you if you can't, what the hell is going on right? in the background? Subscribe on Rumble, guys. It's five bucks, man. Yeah, give us money. Nothing. Actually, Chris locals is twenty bucks. Show you, show you guys as well. Yeah, we'll show y'all how to do it. We'll, we'll show screen. But to show even more. We're going to be moving the studio to a bigger, better location as well with your yeah. support. I wasn't even going to tell y'all that. I was going to surprise you guys. But yeah, guys, we are. <laughs> I wasn't. We, were, we weren't even actually supposed to say that, but we're not going to see that. Exact content or whatever it may be. Rumble getting hit, right, for free speech. Uh, video, like, just get strikes, whatever it may be. With your support. Give guys, us your paycheck. It's to the point now where even where we shoot the location doesn't want us to stay here. Yeah. I didn't want to get evicted by their landlord. I really didn't want to have to admit that. I wanted to just move the studio, support is surprise you guys. Yo, yeah. new studio. It's it's lit, right? But dude, there is like there is a matrix, man. Like I mean, I mean we've talked about this with Andrew at length. Like people don't want you guys to get this message, dude. Even Rumble's under attack, too. Bro. From everybody. Yeah. They're they're trying they're Nobody's trying to safe. shut Rumble down. I, like I think at some point there was free speech where it was like, okay, you know what? Yeah. Say what you got to say. We won't crucify you. But nowadays, free speech is kind of like, is it even a thing? I mean, not really. And you know, and I've already put, I've already put a considerable amount of my of my uh, money into this new studio for you guys. I already I already put it in. I'm like all in. You know what I mean? And it's uh, I spent so much money. Okay. You should too. I'm Come never on. Never gonna say. Give me a oh, check. Oh, oh, well, I, I, I'm, I'm doing this, blah, 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 and I hate doing this. I love doing this. I'd be lying to you guys if I didn't say I didn't love doing this. It's I left lit. a job that I truly loved. It's lit. How old is he? 32, if I remember correctly. To do this, right? Because I shouldn't be admitting this, but... Oh, no, he's going to cry. Is he crying? Saving children, right? Oh, come on. That was great, but saving you guys is better. What? What? Wait, what? Wait. What? He, okay, so Myron, like we said, he's a Fed. He used to work for the Department of Homeland Security. He used to, in, from, what, from the stories he told, whether or not it's true, that's another story. But in the stories he told, he said he used to bust like child abuse and PDF rings where children would be kidnapped and sold into, you know, sex slavery. Did my man actually just say that saving children from PDFs felt good, but making misogyny content on YouTube feels better? What? Guys, 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 I'm kind of, I don't, I, guys, I don't know. What? what? It just, wait, I got to hear that again admitting this but saving children right that was great but saving you guys is better <laughs> Fucking, what type of a manipulation shit is this you make me feel better telling you about the, the reality of women's psychology than i did stopping child abusers from abusing children 
please give me money. This is like, listen, okay, I'm going to say this now. I believe, and I'm, this is going to be cynical. I believe this is crocodile tears to promote parasocial relationships with his audience to be able to fleece more money out of them. That's what I think is going on here. That, that's what, because he's lazy. <laughs> that's what I think is actually happening here. The tears, the, <laughs> the, all of this, all of this is just to feed into that insecurity of his audience to get more money out of them. That is insane. No, he's crying. He's crying. Um. Yeah, man, this is tough, bro. Cause uh, this meme is walk, very real. He walked. He, he left. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Are these guys were high value? This is the lowest value I've seen in my entire beta. Listen, guy, boys who cry, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't shit on boys who cry, but I'm good, just gonna, it, listen, what he's crying about is wild to me. Like, what is going on here, man? Not the booty shorts. He did have the booty shorts riding up into his ass, too. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> Boo hoo, give me money. Put our legend to this, you know? Wait, does he come back? All right, fresh mo, uh, putting the work. Uh, shout out to the mods, shout out to the chat, you know, shout out to people that actually tune in every day. I see you guys. And it's just one of those things, man. We, we, we put in, you know, the, the, the energy. Bro, shut the fuck up. Life to support people that you care about. Even at the detriment of you losing your job, you having social life, you actually being present at vacations or outside environments. You say, you know what? Nah, screw all that. We care about you guys over our feelings, how we feel at the moment, and we won't miss a show for you guys. Look at my Okay, yeah, that's this is manipulated this is manipulative of, as fuck. All right, well, I mean, I know he's gonna be I know they're gonna be able to fleece their audience for money, um, no matter what, but that is wild to me. I'm just that's crazy. I, I'm I'm honestly a little I'm I'm honestly a little shocked. I can't I can't lie to you. I know I shouldn't be, but I am a little shocked with with that because that is that's kind of crazy. The type of I, also I fucked up my camera. I hate touching my camera because now this happens. Now I have to fix it. Um, but it's kind of crazy to me. Wait one second. That's true. This is this is a problem. This is only a problem for me because I don't have twenty people working for me. You're right. You're right. this could have easily been fixed with a twenty with a twenty person staff behind this stream. You you got a point. <laughs> the CIA is attacking you again. All right, but I think I think that's good there. Thank you, everyone, for for the support. Anyways, well, that's what happens when you make an entire YouTube channel based off of well, with, like with your main content that the 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 main content that people come to you for, with hating on a specific group, fomenting this type of antagonism specifically to make money off of it. That's what happens. I think it's gross. I think it's sick. And I'm glad they're facing some repercussions finally for what they've been doing. And I hope it's not the first. And I hope and I'm glad it's not the first. And I hope it's not the last because they deserve everything that came their way. That and then some. Thank you, Fresh and Fit. Very cool. Come here. Come here. Oh. Hi. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.